hello friends in this video i am going to show you how you can install wordpress on digital ocean within five minutes that's right we are going to install wordpress super fast on digital ocean so let's uh, get started coming to my computer screen here you can see that i already have one article written for you so what are the requirements the first of all you need a domain name and second you need a cloud so let's go to digital ocean and create a droplet so here you have to select if you go to the article you would see that you must install ubuntu 18.04 so let's do that all right then you have to select uh, the server configuration so you can start with the smallest one or you can go to largest one as per your requirement the amount of traffic your website is generating so i'll stick with the smallest one at this time and then you have to select the data center region which should be nearest to your customers and then uh, here if you want to enable ip version 6 you can do so and next uh, you have option to either go for sss based authentication or password so right now i am going with password so in fact let me show you how you can go with sss based authentication it's uh, pretty easy all you need to do is to download partition let me show you so go to putty and then go to uh, here uh, on this page you will find partition here you can see partition you have to download it and then open it it's uh, now after opening you can see the big generate button here and then click on generate and this will generate the public key all right so all you need to do is to copy this public key and after that here you have new ssh key option click on that paste the public key give it some name new and then add ssh key after that next step is to go to the partition once again and then save the private key so let me give it some name new and after that save it all right so now next is to choose a host name so give it some host name let's say app dot in learn dot in you can name it anything make sure to use your uh, domain name and after that click on create droplet even if you don't use a host name it's a uh, completely okay now while this droplet is being created let's go to this article back and here next step is to add dns records now you have to log into your uh, dns registrar it could be either godaddy namechip so now when you log into uh, namechip in uh, and you go to your domain name and then uh, you have to head towards advanced dns but before that you have to ensure that in a domain tab you have selected name chip basic dns and then after that go to advanced dns tab and then here click on add new record record type should be a and then host name so it has to be at the rate or you can leave it blank doesn't matter all right so after that uh, get the ip address so this is the ip address save it and then add one more record and that is for www and uh, then ip address once again and uh, save changes very good so coming back to article it's time to connect to remote server and for that uh, i have demonstrated the use of putty so you can obviously download putty from here click on 
pati.txt and you see this is the uh, interface user interface for uh, pati and now here you have to paste the ip address so what i am going to do is to get the ip address from here and uh, all right so paste the ip address here now remember uh, we didn't use the password so we need to pass on the private key so what i am going to do is to go to this uh, ssh and then you have to go to auth which stands for authentication obviously and then browse the key here is the my key and after that i'll click open now you will get this uh, little security alert after that uh, here you have to answer yes and then you have to type username root all right so let me change its appearance all right so coming back to article here uh, uh, first uh, command is to switch to root user so execute it and then you have to update and upgrade the system so execute the next command and wait for your server to be updated and upgraded all right now the server has been updated and upgraded as well it's time to install wordpress so let's uh, copy this command so copy this command and execute it i'll put the link to this article in the description as well as i'll share the referral link following which you can have 100 dollar credit in digital ocean account so let's wait for this command to finish execution all right so this command took quite uh, some time to finish installation of packages and uh, coming back to article it is saying that before you execute the next line of command which will install wordpress it's better to check whether dns records propagated or not otherwise you will get ssl error so to do that all you need to do is to open command prompt on your windows machine or open terminal on your mac and then here you have to type ping and then domain name so my domain name is in learn dot in after i press enter you can see the ip address so this ip address should match this ip address so you can see that ip address is matching so this means propagation of uh, dns is complete now we can install wordpress without any ssl error so let's uh, copy this command and uh, go to putty and then here you have to change the domain name so you can see here i am going to replace example.com with inlearn.in inlearn.in now this command will not only install wordpress website but it will also install ssl certificate from let's encrypt so after that you have to press the enter and wait for it you might be asked for email address and that is because uh, let's encrypt ssl would able to notify when your uh, certificate is about to expire so you should uh, answer that and uh, here coming back to article you can see if you don't want to enable ssl certificate you can simply execute this command and if you want to create multi-site wordpress then you can use this command basically i must tell you these commands are uh, from easy engine so you can go to easy engine and uh, find more commands here so easy engine is uh, very popular and it has uh, uh, around 50 contributors and very strong uh, base uh, very strong base of developers so you can completely rely on them this uh, wordpress will be installed on nginx php mysql and obviously let's encrypt that i told you so now here you can see that it is asking for mail id so let me type my mail id all right so 
now you can see that SSL verification is started now within a couple of seconds you will see the user credentials on terminal dashboard now you can see these are the user credentials you should you should save these credentials at some place safe so this is the site and this is the site root so if you if you in future need to access your website files then you have to go to this location and obviously site title wordpress username wordpress password and then database host database name database user password and email id obviously this is the email id which is used to create wordpress website and ssl is enabled obviously cache is enabled that's what uh, i passed on with uh, my command so let me show it to you if you can if you can see i also used this uh, part of command to enable cache anyway so now let me open the website in browser so you can see what press install successfully and if i go to wp admin so here is the username this one and let me get the password all right login here you can see certificate valid and certificate is issued by r3 which is none other than let's encrypt so this is how you install wordpress on digital ocean super fast let me know if you have any questions regarding this installation you can uh, go to in guide website and then you can go to forum and open your open a topic there you can ask your questions and queries so that's all for this video i hope uh, this video would prove helpful to you and if it does so feel free to subscribe and give thumbs up to video thank you very much